Reddit by Reddit recap. What can't you believe people actually buy or spend money on? Just reading this thread to see if I'm being financially irresponsible. Nervously glances at Lego collection. Hobbies and collections are generally excused. Well maybe it's my hobby to drink Voss water and I maintain a collection of their glass bottles. E. Some people seem to have taken that seriously. I was only trying to cash in on that meta comment karma. Fancy water. There are so many different kinds of water all claiming to be special in some way. No way I'm paying $8 for a bottle of water. The liquor store I work in just got in a non-alcoholic gin. That's 50 Australian dollars. 35 US dollars. For a bottle of water. Okay. Just what kind of abomination is non-alcoholic gin? Juniper water. Bottled water. In Scotland at least. We have some of the best quality water in the world coming out of all our taps for free. Duck Evian. Personally I prefer Scottish water with some malted barley added and aged. Phone ringtones. Admittedly, not anymore. I once spent 99 cents so that my chocolate phone would yell out you have message. In a Borat voice. Well worth it. Borat is one of those things that to me feels way more recent than it is. You mean 2006 isn't the year before yesteryear. Tabloids. It's a rag full of lies and half-truths about people you don't know. You will never be a part of these people's lives and nothing they say or do will affect you. I've never opened one myself but there is always something stupid on the covers while waiting in line at the grocery store. I imagine they are also full of ads for generic products. Not sure if US tabloids are the same as UK ones. But I occasionally look through the Daily Mail to see what shit they are pushing. It seems like every headline has to tell you how to feel about whatever the article is about. Outrage at, sadness over, panic as. I don't believe the people reading them regularly are capable of deciding how to feel about something without being told. Every day I shop. John Bennett's murder if found. His motive disclosed. Or something about Hillary Clinton lottery it's one thing to drop a couple of bucks on a ticket or two if only to dream but people that drop hundreds of dollars that they usually can't afford thinking they'll be a millionaire the next day baffles me i used to deliver soft drinks to convenience stores and basically every store has a few people that spend all day playing scratch offs literally all day every day until they run out of money it's sad and infuriating at the same time intermittent reward is a hell of a drug I worked at a gas station in a small town and some dude came in with scratch offs that won him slightly over $800. The conversation went something like this. Me. I'm sorry sir I can't give you that much cash. You're gonna have to take those down to Indianapolis or something. Him. Oh I was just going to buy more tickets. Me. Oh okay that could work then I could probably give you most of the cash back. Him. No I meant I'm going to buy as many tickets as possible with this money. The guy proceeded to make me hold up one of our two lines. Thank god my other co-worker was there, and lose every single penny because none of the tickets he got won him anything. Just $800 down the drain for him, and who knows how much he spent to get to that price before that. MLM schemes. It's hard to believe that people will believe anything told to them. The worst is when you can someone out and call it a pyramid scheme and they respond that it isn't a pyramid scheme. It's multi-level marketing. That's the damn definition. They will sometimes also say it is not an illegal pyramid scheme heavily stressing the illegal part. So you admit it is a pyramid scheme then. My wife had a friend who tried basically all of them. They have OTG at all. Her husband can't keep down a job and my wife would try to buy some shit every now and then because our kids were born 5 days apart and we feel bad for their guy. One day my wife was about to hand her a check when I asked if it was worth shaking down your friends to keep $15 of the $150 my wife was about to spend. She got upset and corrected me. Actually I'll keep $22. Not bad for 10 minutes. Dot. It's the only sale you're making all month. I paid my mortgage. What are you planning to do with that whole $22? Mortgage loan officer here. This isn't exactly what this question is going for, but expensive vehicles. I look at credit reports all day for clients trying to get pre-approved for a mortgage. This isn't regarding someone who makes a sufficient income to support it. 
but it is extremely common nowadays to see people who make 30-40k a year with car payments that are 600-700 a month. We see it a lot. It is definitely the most egregious debt I tend to see on people's credit reports nowadays, even over student loans, because the monthly payments are just so outrageous. I will never understand people THT make 30k 40k a year and buy cars that can break your budget for a whole year when you miss a week of work. How the hell do they afford anything like that? My car payment is 300 a month and I'm mid 30k. That and my mortgage leaves some room but certainly not enough to double that car payment. Edit. The mortgage is split with my wife who also makes mid 30k. Didn't realize my comment would be read as me doing it by myself. The car is mine alone though. She won't pay for my car. LOL. Typically a co-senior. Which usually winds up being a spouse who takes better care of their finances and credit. Quick anecdote. Declined a loan for two borrowers. She was an RN. He was whatever. Both made about 40k each. His credit was trashed and they had two car loans. One in the 300s. And one at 750. The 750 was just killing the deal. I tell her the situation and she's near tears talking about this ducking car she co-signed because her husband really wanted it. So long story short. We're going to roll with just her on the application and she's going to remove herself from the car loan and title and get me proof. So I get the proof of removal and see what this ducking albatross is around her neck. It was a low down payment. Shit interest rate 2012 Dodge Challenger. A ducking 750 slash mo 6 year old Dodge Challenger was preventing this woman from owning the home of her dreams. We see this all the time. Nothing kills a deal on debt to income like a car loan. A product from Goop. Gwyneth Paltrow is just insane and possibly drinks blood. Mayo those stickers for rebalancing the body's energy frequencies they claimed were made out of the same material used to line spacesuits. NASA called them out on their lie and they responded back like, okay so it's not made of the same material, but it's Todd AI learn it'll rebalances your body's energy frequencies. Roth I remember that, after reading the article and laughing so hard I almost fainted. I saw a recommendation that said something along the lines of, yeah, you know how we said it was good to put these egg things up your vag? Well, we were wrong. It was the funniest thing I have ever read in my entire life. Edit. Here's a link to an article about the eggs. For the brave of heart. If you feel like it's been drained of energy, recharge it in the full moon just the way you would a crystal. How can a real person even say this? This sounds like a tip for a video game. New Christmas decorations every year. We've had ours since I was a kid. We buy some to add to it but it's really the same every year. But as contrast, I had a friend in school who bought brand new decorations every year in a new color scheme and simply discarded the last years. Considering it's only up for a few weeks, I couldn't believe how wasteful. An entire new batch of decorations? I mean, we replace something every year because lights are faded burnt out or ornaments are lost smashed. But the whole shit bang? I feel like there can't possibly be a large number of people doing this. Most people just store decorations and use them again every year. Your friend was insane. Edit. I stand corrected. Never underestimate rich people. There is absolutely a large number of people doing this. Source. Used to work retail graveyard shift. Seasonal items could not be kept stocked fast enough. OL memberships. My mom still does it. I can't convince her otherwise. Drives me crazy. I'm pretty sure there's an option in settings to just make it free. Like, there's literally a switch that says to cancel billing or something. I switched it off for my parents. Edit. Here's a link. Help AOL.com link. What's the benefit of paying? You still get to use the desktop app? AOL says you won't be able to call them for support if you don't pay for their service. Not worth the subscription price. Cake pops. They cost as much as a Betty Crocker cake mix box. They were invented as a way to reuse and sell scraps from trimming cakes. They're made from cake crumbs and frosting rolled into a ball and then covered in chocolate or whatever will make them look pretty. So people are buying scraps on a stick. Sounds like the hot dogs of the cake industry. Shitty car mods, 
the guys that have like a rusted out Dodge Neon with 3 grand in cosmetic modifications that make it look like an 8 year old tried to design their first race car. Just use that money to get a new car man. I don't think that wing is helping too much on your front wheel drive car that barely breaks 60 miles per hour. I hear that each Sparko sticker gives you plus 5 bhp. Mayo. They make stickers that literally say plus 5 hp that you can put on your car. I want to actually mod mine and add the stickers that coincide with each mod. New air intake. Plus 10 hp on the back window. Oh god. This reminds me of my first car. I was 16 and bought a shitty Dodge Neon that was was all tricked out. My dad told me if a car looks and sounds like that it was probably treated like shit and would be a waste of money. He let me make my own decision and one year later it was dead and I learned a valuable lesson. Here in the UAE people mostly emeritus. Sell and buy license plates and phone numbers that have interesting combinations of numbers on them. Currently the license plate 130 is going for the equivalent of US $120,000. And the SIM card for 3,333,335 is worth $17,000. We expats think this is so crazy. Delaware is strangely big on expensive as hell plates too. Edit. Yep. $675,000. A lawyer in Texas bought a license plate that reads 12THMAN for $115,000 and donated the plate to a veteran. A KBTX.com link. I'm sure the veteran would have rather had the 115k. I read the other day that low income households in the US spend an average of $412 a year on lottery tickets. That was really hard to believe. Those numbers are probably skewed because of gambling addicts. Saw some guy yesterday spend 300 plus on the mega million. Mind blowing. Phone wallpapers. Seriously you can find billions online for free. I didn't even know this was much of a thing. Judging by the replies to this. Congrats. You've been directly responsible for a bunch of people wanting to buy phone wallpapers now. I'm one of them. I spent like 99 cents on a fancy one that resembles the Star Trek alert screen and even has yellow and red alert based on phone status. Have used it for almost 6 years now I think I got my money's worth. Paying for a still screen is silly though. Best comment of the day. High end or designer anything, but especially clothing, handbags, shoes, food, water, and macube, cars. Weddings, overly large homes, or multiple large homes, gambling. I buy a few tickets, whenever the jackpot gets really high, but that's it. It really is just a pleasant daydream for me, it's not something I actually count on, which I guess, is why I don't have an issue, but then again I don't really understand gambling addiction. Partying slash clubbing you can have so much fun for much cheaper, if you have good friends. I don't know anything about technological things, but I myself have spent too much on SWTOR and Warcraft. I also spend too much on fast food mostly, when I'm feeling too lazy to cook, or when I'm just craving a food I don't know how to cook, or don't have the ingredients for, but financially it's a mistake, I just can't seem to stop.